Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to find all 20 dream catchers here in Red Dead Redemption 2 for any of you that are playing this amazing game again in 2024, so let's jump into it. Our first location is going to be found in Amberino, and this one's going to be just south of the letter R, just east of Katora Springs. We'll give you a second to see the exact location here on your map. But once you make your way over here, there's going to be one bigger tree surrounded by a whole bunch of little skinny trees. The bigger tree is going to be the one that has the dream catchers on it. So just interact with it and this will be dream catcher number one. Number two is going to be found just north of Valentine. And this is also going to be just kind of northwest of the Dakota River as we zoom in. It's going to be on the western side of this path that you see here on your map. And once you make your way out here, a good landmark is the fallen tree that you can see right here next to the main path. Just walk up to the right of that tree and this first tree that you see here in front of you is the one with the dream catchers on it so interact this will be dream catcher number two number three is an amberino as well this one's just northwest of valentine and it's going to be on the mountainside just south of the s and grizzlies west on your map you can see that exact location here but once you make your way up on this mountain there's going to be several trees in the area our dream catchers are going to be on the one that has zero leaves on it right here in the middle. So you can walk up to this one, interact with it, and this will be dream catcher number three. Number four is going to be found just south of Valentine. In fact, this one is directly south of the first E that you see in Valentine on your map. It's going to be just on the western side of this dotted path that you can also see on your map. So make your way to this location. You'll have pretty much an empty field behind you, and you'll see this giant tree with no leaves on it. Uh, we can walk up to this, interact with it. This is going to be dream catcher number four. Number five is also going to be found south of Valentine. This one's a little bit further south, and you can see it's going to be right on the edge of the Dakota River. You can also see just to the west of Caliban Seat if you have that on your map. But right around where we have our red marker here, you can see it's pretty much an opening with the path, and then you have a little cluster of trees right here. The first tree in that cluster is going to be the one uh, that has the dream catchers on it so interact and that'll be number five number six is on the far southwestern side of new hanover you can see it's again right on the edge of the dakota river right before you get to bard's crossing as we zoom in here you'll see it's again going to be right next to a main pathway and this one's not too difficult to find once you get down here you'll see that we're going to have one dead tree that's right on the edge of the rock just over top of the path you can walk up to that tree interact with it and this will be dream catcher number six Number seven is going to be found in New Hanover. This one's located just between the N and E in New. Uh, and you can see on your map, there's a little opening, a big cluster of land right here. We're going to be on the northwestern side of that where our red marker is. You can see the train tracks here behind us and a giant rock in front of us. All we're going to do is run past that giant rock. And in this small cluster of trees right here in the middle, it's going to be the tree that has the dream catcher. So we can interact and that will be number seven. Number eight is in New Hanover. This one's directly east of Valentine, and it's going to be right next to the railroad tracks. You can see where our exact placement is with the marker, uh, and this one's pretty easy to spot once you make your way over here. You'll see that right next to the tracks, we just have a couple trees right here on this little hill. All we need to do is walk up, interact with the tree here, and we will get number eight. Number nine is extremely easy to find. This one's in New Hanover as well, and it's going to be found just on the northwestern side of the Inn and Heartlands on your map. You can see exactly where our marker is. The reason this one's so easy to find is because there's literally only one tree out here. This is the only one that you'll see for a good distance. Uh, so once you make your way out here, just interact with it and you will get dream catcher number nine. Number 10 is going to be found in Le Moyne. This one's just northeast of the M that's in Le Moyne. And if you have it on your map, it's going to be just northwest of Lonnie's Shack. You can see our exact marker location here. Once you get out here, you can use this completely dead tree right here as a landmark if you need to. But right across from that, this smaller tree right over here in these plants is where you're going to be able to find green catcher number 10. Number 11 is going to be found on the far northern side of Le Moyne, and this one's actually going to be just north of the B that you see in Blue Water Marsh on your map. There's actually a little triangle here on your map, as you can see. We're going to be right in the middle of that. So make your way to this marker. You can see we're actually right next to the main path here, and it's going to be this tree that's right here in front of us. So we can interact with this, and this is going to give us Dreamcatcher number 11. 
Number 12 is also going to be found on the far northern side of Lemoyne. There's not a whole lot that's near this one. It's pretty much just up on a giant hillside. Uh, if you have the pig farm on your map, you can see we're going to be just northwest of that pig farm. If you make your way pretty close to around where you can see our red marker, this one's not too hard to spot as there's not really that many trees up here as we take a look around. It's going to be this big tree uh, that's right here in the middle of this field so we can interact with that and we'll get dream catcher number 12. Number 13 is found in New Hanover. This one's pretty much between the A and the N in Hanover and just on the southern side of the Heartland Overflow right around where you can see our red waypoint on your screen. Once you make your way over here, not too many trees. We're going to be at the smaller one that's in the middle here. We can interact with this one and we get dream catcher number 13. Number 14 is easy to spot on your map because it's going to be right in the middle of the O that you see in New Hanover here. So zoom all the way in. We're going to be in the northeastern side of the middle of that O if that helps at all. But once you get over here, we're going to be at this tree that's directly in front of us. And move on over to this one, interact, and we will get dream catcher number 14. Number 15 is going to be found on the far northeastern side of the map in Amberino. And as we zoom in here, you guys will see we're just northeast of the O. And if you have it on your map, it's actually going to be right next to the loft, which is a tower that's up here, uh, right here next to the path. You can make your way to where our red marker is, and we'll turn around and show you the tower is going to be right here behind us on the rock. Here's the path, and then right here beside that path is a completely dead tree with nothing on it but the dream catcher. So we can walk up to that, interact with it, and we'll get dream catcher number 15. Number 16 is also on the far northeastern side of the map. This one's going to be directly north of Ansburg, just along the riverside. If you have it on your map, there's a little cottage up here. We're pretty much in between that cottage and the river right here at this marker. Uh, you can see the river in front of us. There's going to be a pretty big rock in front of us, too. If you make your way toward that rock, the tree that's going to be just in front of it here is where you're going to find the dream catcher. So you'll be able to get number 16. Number 17 is going to be in Ansberg. This one's actually easy to spot on your map because it's just on the northeastern side of the second N that you see in Ansberg. And it's also right here at the intersection of the main pathway. So when you make it out here, you can see the intersection right here. The dream catcher is going to be on the tree that's right here on the side of the hill next to this path. So we can interact with that and get number 17. Number 18 is also going to be up in Ansberg. This one's going to be just south of the U that you see in Ansberg on your map and on the southern side of that pathway right here where the red marker is. Uh, there's a lot of trees in this area, but it's going to be on the dead tree that's right on the edge of the hill here. So it'll kind of stick out uh, with the other trees around it, but we can interact with that one and get number 18. Number 19 is going to be found south of Ansberg as well. There's not a whole lot going on around this one. It's going to be east of the river, but you can see on our map here, we're going to have a pathway that kind of goes right alongside of this one. So just on the right side of that main pathway that you can see here on your map, uh, there's going to be this cluster of destroyed trees. And right over here along the path, you will find this tree that's going to have our next dream catcher on it. So we can interact with this one to get number 19. Number 20 is once again south of Ansberg. This one's going to be just to the right of the E that you see in Hanover on your map and just south of the Elysian Pool where you can see our marker. And once we get over here, we'll show you a little look around. There's a couple rocks here, but this tree that's right here in the middle is the tree that's going to have Dreamcatcher number 20. But this is all 20 Dreamcatcher locations here in Red Dead 2. Hopefully this video helps somebody out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.